tomorrow begins the final leg of what I think is the ultimate gas station tour. I'm setting out to achieve something that no one has ever accomplished. I'm on a mission to visit every single Quick Trip location here in the Midwest. That's over 877 stores altogether. And what's better is that we'll all be done on my motorcycle. Good morning, day three. Um, I got a solid eight hours worth of sleep last night and I feel fantastic. You can't tell though. <laughs> but I'm a little tired, but honestly I feel so refreshed right now so um, goal today I'm in Minnesota there are three different states I'll be in today uh, Minnesota of course Iowa there's like one or two new ones on the way west side of the state and then I'll end up in like South Dakota area tonight that's my that's my goal um, yeah I still have the same mindset as what I do yesterday, so I've just, I don't know, I went through the last like six stores already before I checked in with you this morning, so I'm just gonna keep, gonna keep going. I feel good and I wanna just kinda keep doing what I'm doing. That's literally all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I had my first like slight panic moment and I realized that my pocket is completely empty and I was like, <gasps> Oh my god, my gift card that I've been using to do all of these check-ins, like, flew out on the interstate somewhere. I was like, oh my god. Freaking, so I did a pull a Yui. I was like, I'm gonna have to go back, like, four, five, ten miles, whatever it is, and I'm gonna have to backtrack and find it. Come to find out, it's just in my freaking pants pocket. Like, ah, my little, little adrenaline rush for this afternoon. <laughs> Afternoon? Morning? I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Do something fun. Okay, I have to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be over 90 degrees. Well, not quite. High 80s during this trip that I am welcoming the like small patches of rain that's come through. It's kind of nice to cool off a little bit, but I'm going to go inside and grab myself a vanilla smoothie, cool off for a little bit. <laughs> That's a good choice. Well, it was bound to happen at some point today. More than what just little trickles that I had been getting into, so rain gear is on. And I'm headed back into all that, which that doesn't look so bad right now, but I know what's coming. <laughs> there was like an entire line where it was supposed to go to, and then at some point when I looked at the radar, it went down, but then went back up, like as the time progressed. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. We're just going to go south and see what I um, hit on the way back up. So this plan should still be in... He's a South Dakota tonight, sorry, train. Didn't realize that's happening too. You can still see where my <laughs> Gore-Tex helmet liner was, but I swear the best sunsets are always after a rainstorm. Like Look at this quick start right now. It's freaking showing off. Looks so cool. This is like one of my favorite times to be at Quick Trip and Quick Stars. It is like 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. Things are quiet. There's not a lot of cars and people. The lighting here and these new stores are just... <clears throat> delicious <laughs> but I was thinking back on today and there really wasn't anything like large outrageous momentous whatever events that happened um, it was just a lot of the small moments that made up today there was a gentleman uh, pulled up to me when I was um, having a quick snack in the parking lot on a Triumph trail bike, an old beautiful bike, and of course we got to talking 
because we're motorcyclists, but um, he was telling me how he did a century ride on that bike and a handful of other stories. It was just awesome to connect with him. There was um, a father-daughter duo that uh, <laughs> I could tell she was just like beaming with confidence. She was so excited. Come to find out they were doing kind of a celebratory ride because she just got her license and they were getting a snack, a quick trip together, getting gas. It was a really cool moment. I didn't quite interrupt, but I was glad to kind of pull up next to them and hear their story. And there was a gentleman when I was in the middle of the Minnesota ones, I pull up just to a normal gas stop to get my gas receipt and he comes barreling out of his car. I had to turn down my head um, headphones. I had journey blasting. <laughs> I was like very confused. He was so excited to meet me and introduce himself. Um, and his wife, Ashley, she was telling his wife last week when I posted a reel on Quick Trip announcing this uh, final leg, he goes, wouldn't it be super cool if we ran into her at one of the um, stops? And I guess he manifested it somehow, some way, because that's what happened. And it was so fantastic just to see his feel his energy um because he was just so excited for me and honestly he goes my day is made because of you and I was like well fantastic because honestly he made my day even better <laughs> I loved it I loved those moments um just thinking the rest of the day it was just yeah there was rain of course and that's always gonna be something that's gonna happen I've got the rain gear on to handle it but it was that sunset afterwards uh that was just fan freaking tastic i swear every time it rains it's gorgeous for a sunset but yeah that's all i can really think of right now i'm gonna sign off for the night find a hotel room should be pretty easy because i'm familiar with this area last year we were here we were coming from Sturgis or Black, the Black Hills area and this is where we stopped for the night and I kind of scouted out some of these quick stars that were coming up and still being built and now of course they're here and functional and operational but yeah it was good it was a really really good day can't complain at all see you guys tomorrow Today was the first time I had a casualty with my bike. I am wired to just go. Like, there is no let up. I want to go to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, until I'm pretty much exhausted.